guess I'm ready to start. Good morning. Labor Day weekend. Labor Day Monday. We're going to labor anyway. It's not labor. It's not labor. It's a labor of love. It's a labor of love. Yeah. And this might be an odd choice. It might seem like that to you. We're going to sing a baptism hymn. Uh, a baptismal life hymn. Him, water, blood, and spirit crying by our good friend Stephen Starkey. Uh, and Jeffrey Blurs. And Jeffrey Blurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the composer of the uh, of the tune. Number 597. <clears throat> water, blood, and spirit crying by the Defying to the one who's death defying, life has come with life for all. In a watery grave are buried all our sins that Jesus carried. Christ, the ark of life, has buried us across death's raging flood. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Of course, this, this is just a, he's notorious for this, Pilate washing his hands of Jesus, right? And uh, uh, we're all aware that, of course, that doesn't do any good. He was still guilty. Right? Even though he washed his hands, he was still guilty. I, it makes me think, uh, I'm thinking about this action of washing your hands. Didn't think that much about it. I never paid that much attention. I mean, I washed. I learned to wash my hands and brush my teeth and things like that when I was a kid, right? But you don't pay that much attention to it until the pandemic. And all of a sudden, everybody was really like, are there germs on my hands? I touched, did I touch something? Did I, you know, uh, um, the virus wasn't supposed to be transmitted through surfaces anyway, but everybody was sanitizing everything and everywhere. And I remember we had instructions in hand washing you look around the house you got bar soap you know what you would do with that you got soft soap oh that's really not very strong right i got that uh, uh that fast orange stuff with the pumice in it or whatever and then you you know so you can feel the grits like washing your hands with sandpaper um that's to get the that's work grease. that's the work grease although i discovered I thought that would be the most effective. When getting into poison ivy, turns out it's not so good no. at that that oil. 
uh, the other day I went back through the woods there and I know, I know for a fact that I did not encounter any poison ivy because I could see what there was there. I was spraying some uh, to kill it. And, but I brushed past other weeds, right? And you get that contact dermatitis. That's just itchiness, that irritation from creepy crawly, <laughs> you know, weeds that have been brushing up against your bare arms. And, and when you have poison ivy in your brain, <laughs> You kind of, it's like, ooh. So I, after I've been working outside, I showered off. And I didn't take the fast orange into the shower with me. I didn't just use the, the body wash stuff that's in the shower. I took the Dawn dish soap in the shower to make sure that just in case, if I did hit, maybe get some poison ivy, then I'm going to get that oil off of me, right? But when you have been exposed to something like that, or you think you have been, or it feels like you have been, you can wash and wash, and you're never sure, did I get it all off? Right? You're, oh, uh, what if I was too late? Or there's all those things. I mean, you can wash like a surgeon, you know, up with your hands, up your arms, or whatever. It's, it's never enough. There are a lot of things in life that are like that, that things stick to you. Like that, like that Urushiol poison ivy oil sticks to you. Things stick to you and you, you think you're past them and then they flare up. You think about them again, then they're in your mind again. Things from the past, mistakes, things you said, things you did or failed to do your sins, your failures, they don't just wash away. Pilate could wash with water, but washing with water or, or trying to get, get rid of responsibility or the feeling of guilt or responsibility by washing with alcohol Maybe that, there was a lot of alcohol in the pandemic. Besides the very much increased drinking, uh, there were distilleries that went to making uh, um, hand sanitizer. And remember how, so there were a lot of places you go get the hand sanitizer. I was like, wow, there's a lot of alcohol in this because it had to be a certain percentage of alcohol to kill a virus. And uh, alcohol whether whether rubbed on or consumed doesn't erase those things they don't go away all the things that people use besides hand washing all the things that people use to try to wash off the past they're ineffective go shopping get a vacation uh change of scene none of them work Things stick to you. You know, I used to not, I used to sort of poo poo this, but as I think about it in this context, this really does make sense. The whole thing about remembering your baptism, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times in Lutheran churches we talk about that you should remember your baptism, not in the sense of, well, let's see, I was a month old when my parents took me to St. Paul Lutheran Church in Rockford, Illinois, and I was baptized there. I don't remember that, but I remember that I was baptized. What does that mean? The word baptized means wash. The, the root, the word itself means wash. Who washed me? The pastor didn't wash me. He just poured some water on my head. But, and the pastor can't wash sins away and I can't wash my own sins away. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Pilate couldn't wash his sins away. Who can wash sins away? God can. In my baptism, God washed me. And when I, when I am fretting about things that have stuck to me, to, to wash my hands and remember God washed me, to, to shower and, and in the water remember God washed me. 
and God says I'm his and God named me and God chose me and gave his son for me. That's the only way to be clean. That's the only way to remember that you are clean. By water and blood and the Spirit, you belong to Jesus. He has washed you. He even desired to wash Pontius Pilate. And there are stories that Pilate later came to faith. I hope so. I'd love to talk to him in heaven. Take his hands and say, they're clean. You're clean. Amen. Lord Jesus, things stick to us so persistently. So many griefs and bitterness and guilt and all the past Lord, it's layered on us like a crust. But you, you have washed it all away. Lord, today, when we take water, remind us of your washing, your baptizing. That you have washed and made us clean in the blood of the Lamb. We'll be clean forever in you. Amen. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. You guys have a great holiday.